Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM onto your newly rooted Motorola Droid. Uh, if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spelled like that in the address bar, and then search for a how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Droid procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root the Motorola Droid procedure. If you haven't done it, uh, click that link right there in the first step. Uh, it'll take you to the procedure. Do that, complete it. Once it's done, you can come back to this procedure and continue. Uh, second thing, this will erase all of your data um, and you possibly might need to reactivate your drawer in order to log in and open the, uh, open the home screen, etc. So please be sure to sync all your contacts and stuff with Google before you begin this procedure. Once you're okay with that, you can continue. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to flash a custom recovery image. Uh, we're going to do that on the phone itself using an app from the market. So go to your market and you're going to search for ROM Manager, two words. And the very first one that comes up, ROM Manager Free. Tap that, it should be by Clockwork Mod. And click Install, click OK, and wait for that to install. Okay, once it's installed, we can tap on it to open it. Click OK. All right, and the very first option is Flash the Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'm going to click on that, confirm your model, which is the Motorola Droid CDMA, and wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, it should pop up with an SU request, meaning it needs uh, permissions. We're going to check remember and then allow. And once it's done, it'll say successfully flash the clockwork mod recovery. Click OK, and we can continue. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to plug our phone in via the USB cable. And we're going to mount the SD card. Okay, now you need to actually download a ROM. So we're going to click on the link here. We have our Motorola ROM section. And scroll down to see all the ROMs. We'll just do the first one. Take you to the developer's page. You'll see ROM download links. And we'll download that to our computer. Okay, once we downloaded the ROM to our computer, we're gonna grab it and we're gonna copy it to the root of our SD card. That means not inside any of the folders. It should just be copy to removable disk. So you have your path here is just removable disk, and then we just put it right there. So wait for that to finish transferring. Okay, once it's done transferring, we're gonna unplug the phone. And we're gonna turn it off. Then we're going to turn the phone back on by sliding out the keyboard. We're going to hold down X and power at the same time and keep holding it. So we get to our new recovery screen. Okay, now on this menu we're going to use our D-pad to navigate. And we're going to scroll down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Scroll down to Yes, Delete All User Data. Wait for it to finish wiping. Once it's done, we're going to scroll down now to Wipe Cache Partition. Wait for that to finish. And finally, we're going to scroll to Apply SD Card Update.zip. And finally, we're going to scroll down to install zip from SD card. Then choose zip from SD card. We're going to go all the way down and look for our .zip that we want to flash, which is the ESE 81 version 11. And wait for that to finish flashing. Okay, once it's done, I'll say install from SD card complete. I'm going to push the power button to get back to the main menu. And then we're going to push Reboot System Now. Once the phone reboots, you should be on your new custom ROM. Enjoy! By the way, if you ever want to load another ROM, simply just redo our steps in Section 3. Uh, and just put a new ROM on the SD card, flash it. Make sure you wipe data before you do it, and you should be all set.